Unmanned ground vehicles, or UGVs, are robots that are capable of operating on the ground without a human operator. They're typically used for tasks that are too dangerous or difficult for humans to perform, such as bomb disposal or reconnaissance in military operations. Quad-leg UGVs, as the name suggests, are UGVs that have four legs instead of wheels, allowing them to move over rough terrain and navigate obstacles more easily than wheeled UGVs. Some quad-leg UGVs are designed to be highly agile and able to move, while others are designed for stability and the ability to carry heavy payloads in general. Quad-leg UGVs is still a relatively new technology, and there is ongoing research and development in this area to improve their capabilities and versatility. The development of unmanned ground vehicles has a long history that dates back to the early days of robotics. The first UGVS was developed in the 1950s and 1960s and was primarily used for military and industrial applications. Over time, UGVs have become increasingly advanced and versatile with a wide range of applications in fields such as agriculture, environmental monitoring, search and rescue, and logistics. Quad-legged unmanned ground vehicles are typically operated by a human operator who uses a remote control to direct the robot's movements. The operator may be located nearby or they may be located at a remote location and use a wireless communication system to control the UGV. In some cases, quad-leg UGVS may also be equipped with autonomous capabilities that allow them to perform certain tasks without direct human control. However, even in these cases, a human operator is typically responsible for overseeing the UGVS operations and making decisions about its actions. Unmanned ground vehicles are designed to be durable and able to operate in challenging environments. The exact durability of a UGV will depend on its specific design and the materials used in its construction. In general, UGVs are built to be rugged and able to withstand rough terrain and harsh conditions, such as extreme temperatures, dust, and water. Some UGVS is also designed to be shock-resistant and able to withstand impacts or collisions. So the durability of a UGV is an important factor in its ability to perform intended tasks reliably and consistently. Furthermore, UGVS also use a variety of sensors and other technologies to navigate and perform their intended task. For example, they may use cameras, LiDAR, radar, or other sensors to detect obstacles and navigate around them. They may use specialized tools or manipulators to perform specific tasks, such as picking up and moving objects or disarming explosives. 3, 2, 1. The specific design and capabilities of a UGV will depend on its intended applications and the requirements of the task it's designed to perform for your information. The QUGV, also referred to as Robot Dogs, has been delivered to the 325th Security Forces Squadron at Tyndall Air Force Base. The semi-autonomous robots were designed by Ghost Robotics and Immersive Wisdom. They have the ability to crouch down and creep into small areas in order to increase security. The facility is situated in the Florida Panhandle. The base aims to use them. The QUVGVS are each outfitted with a wide variety of cameras and sensors. These provide the device with a 360-degree view of its surroundings. The four-legged units can climb difficult terrain in a wide variety of temperatures from negative 40 to 131 degrees Fahrenheit. The robot's design is similar to that of the Boston Dynamics robot spot. That robot has a top speed of 3.5 miles per hour. Boston Dynamics founder and chairman, Mark Rebert gave an explanation on the decision to develop robots with legs rather than with wheels or tracks. He claimed that whereas wheels and tracks can restrict mobility, human and animal legs allow them to move more freely around the entire planet. Due to the spot unit's excellence, the maker has sold over 400 of them to organizations all over the world. Moreover, it is also expected that it will be used to support frontline soldiers by serving as their eyes and ears as always. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more updates. 
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the next one.